All right. Hit that here again. Got the Temperant. Rage Fell. No, Scourge Fell. And Easy Daddy. Crypt Builder. Pretty good to start with. Not as good in Classic. But still good. Could give us a reason to go Conduit. Uh, Pack of Marcels. Might be okay. Uh, though, to be honest... Probably would just try to get Stygian units. Well, <laughs> okay. I guess we have Umbras, so we'll hold on to that. Maybe we have to make it work. Who knows? Um, it could be awkward. Okay, is this a little loud? Maybe let me just turn this down slightly, ever so slightly. Okay, there we go. Uh, anyway, Glacial Seal. I I kind of like a conduit start here. I would still take Frost, whatever you call her, uh, if it's offered. Chill wind. Would I, though? I mean, it's a safe call, but conduit's more fun. I feel like it's pretty free, though, if I just start chill wind. I could always take a conduit later on. Oh, this will be so nice. This is okay too, but I think just getting that damage shield on Tethys is pretty god tier. Plus I can chump block with morsels and stuff. Yeah. We got spears and uh, planks. Oh yeah, we got the planks. I'll just make sure that I don't fuck this up. And put him down first, her down first, and then blam. Wham balam thank you. Okay, no, 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 I'm not gonna use that phrase. Um, let's see. Lifesteal, less useful actually. Even the damage is like iffy. I actually might take this here and then just get like a little bit of damage in. I don't know. Plink. Nice. Uh, lose a... I don't have to lose a stack here. I think I'd like to plank this. Damn. Con. Let's see what we get here. I think we're out of planks. Uh... I really don't want to take any damage if I can help it, but maybe this is a better call. Let me think. At 18, that's not going to do it. I think we just take the 5 here and kill this. Yeah, I think that's the call. Alright. Just need to plank this guy in the back. Or I could just guarantee it by doing this. Let's do this. This should kill the boss. Alright, five damage, not bad. Crystallis? Or flash freeze? Maybe Crystallis is a little redundant with that. I could argue this is redundant with the planks, but I think I'll take a flash freeze. Mm. Yeah, I'll take that. Let's get ourselves an Umbra unit. I don't think I can justify just Tethys, even with the damage shield. Uh, okay, we have... The incant would give me reason to actually put it on the same floor? Hmm, this is weird. I don't know if alloys <laughs> are gonna work. Hmm. Oddly enough, maybe just a Morsel Master? Maybe. 
Eh, maybe alloy. Let's do alloy. Guess we'll just have to try to make it work. Um, I'll do this. Not large stone, though. Could do that, too. I got... Only one space to feed morsels if I put glacial on the same floor, but maybe I actually like this. I actually do like that. And then just... Dude, I don't know. I, I feel like alloy is only a temporary add, so I'm just going to actually upgrade the glacial seal for now. And I can get rid of some stewards. Do I get rid of two? I may hit that merchant of steel up, so I'll hold the rest of the gold. If I get a unit draft here and it's a stygian, I'm probably going there. Well, no unit draft. Spikes is iffy. I mean, this boss... Shit, even, like, even alloy is not too great into spikes. Fuck. I can probably kill most of the stuff before it gets to me, though, if I can get those crit builders off. I'll have three damage shield on her. So... Uh, this is iffy. I <laughs> should probably not take this. It's only 75 gold, too. Probably not worth it to do this. Oh, boy. Let me think here. I just got two of these tanks to deal with, and then I can easily finish everything else off. So, am I hedging on getting those crypt builders? Let's do it. The spikes... I think... Okay, we got a, oh, we got a pretty good first draw here. Let's see what we get here first. Alright, let's fuel him up. I think I want health first and foremost. And I'll actually just hold that for a later possible draw. I'm giving him damage. Hopefully that's not a mistake. Alright. Let's try a plink there. Plink again. So we're killing that guy. Let's try to get... some health. Lifesteal, I think. Maybe I should have held that till later. I'll actually still just keep all of these. Um, so 30 by 2 will kill that before Tethys gets hit. Let's kill that then. Even though it eats up a plank, whatever. And... We can just kill that guy. Let's get that down kill that. We lose a fuel anyway, but I'll just save a little bit of health here. Plink for some morsels. This is why I held the morsels, by the way, so that if I can get back into them. It's basically the story there. I think we got it, though. Yeah. Alright. No damage taken. And uh, took the trial, so... Yeah. Titan's Grat with the Crypt Builders is nice. I can get them off sometimes. Space Prism over Pack Morsels, I think. What about a Mortal Trade? That would be nice to take on this boss. I think I actually prefer Space Prism here. I mean, I'll have a lot of Morsels generated this fight. Crazy as this is, I still think alloy is temporary. I might just do this and look for like a morsel maker. If I get that, that'd be pretty good. I would. I don't know. Would it even be that good? I just. I don't know. I don't know if I want to pour upgrades into alloy right now, but maybe I should just to get through here. I could get an artifact that could help me just the same, or another umber unit that could also help me just the same. I think I'm gonna do that. Let's see what we get here. Kinstone. I don't know if it's super valuable. I think the mind jacks might be better. I can really set up a floor then. Okay, let's just get rid of a Stewie. But this will help, uh, certainly. I can actually set Alloy up on its own floor. 
and just have the Stewie with Glacial Seal and Stygian on the top. I think that gets me through this fight. I think that also means I don't need to take these. Is that going to be dumb, though? We'll find out. But I'm pretty sure I can snag a good Stygian unit. The low roll is that I get Cold Kalia and Icy Silophyte offered here, and just no, no additional Stygians offered here. That's the low roll. Unlikely that it happens. If it does happen, I'll just... I'll just make Alloy work, along with Glacial Seal. It's just how it'll be. There is no haste in this fight. I think we do stick with what I said earlier. Maybe I should have put the damage shield here, but I think it's fine. Um, might as well just do this here. I'll probably never be able to feed all of this, but you never know. I'm actually fine with the damage shield on Tethys, I think. I think to kill, uh, what's his name, that's gonna be just what has to happen. Damn, couldn't get the, uh, oh, I did get it, nice. Uh, I can take a few damage here, I guess. Um, I should do this. Eat up a damage shield. Should have done that before I could have saved myself damage. Oh, we'll have Ember next turn. That'll hurt a little bit. More damage shield, sure. Or do I prevent damage here? Let's do this first. I can actually crit builder this, I guess. That was a pretty good plank. Yeah, let's save some damage here. And then I'll do this, and then just crit build. Get some uh, damage here. I don't know why I didn't put... Uh, Glacial Seal in the front. That was kind of dumb. I don't think it will end up mattering, though. Uh, we might be looking at a floor 2 kill here. Oh, wait, you die? Shit. Alright, let's do this, then. I do want that life steal. Just get some... Armor or kill this? Let's kill that. Put some frostbite there. Kill that. Helps with that. Just get some armor. We're definitely good here. Eight fuel, not bad. Do that. Hey, metal floor kill, nice. So alloy did it. Unupgraded alloy, I just had enough. Hmm. Very interesting. Shroud would be good if we have to stick with uh, alloy. But if I don't go with alloy then Shroud's not too good. I mean, I think at any rate I'm doing a two-floor setup here, possibly. Or just a one-floor setup. I mean, with Mind Jacks, I can set Alloy up with Tethys behind. That works. Uh, I do not... I, I potentially have an Ember Drain enabler with Mind Collapse. How many Merchant of Magics are we looking at, though? Well, this one for sure. Probably this one. So, two for sure, maybe three. It's not super high. It, it, it's in our favor that we would find holdover on Mind Collapse, but it's not like super, super high prob probability at two visited. It's just four rerolls. So, 50 50 into another 50 50. So, like, roughly 75% chance for it to be found. That's not actually that high. Like, and I already have multi-strike technically. I, I, I don't know if, as good as Furnace Tap is, I don't know that it's the call here. And I don't know that I can really afford another three cost spell. I think it is just Shroud for Alloy. Damn, Silophyte. Well, I can look for an a, a Eternal Stone on pack morsels and I think I'll be good and then maybe hold over shroud if, if that's the case I have so many things to feed that 
Maybe I just get a Crucible. Looks like we're going Umbra. I think we'll see what we do in terms of like... I think Alloy gets its own floor and I think Crucible in front of Tethys is the call. Uh, as far as Pip or Amber, I think we... Well, we do draw. I don't know. <laughs> You know, as far as Pipper Ember, we don't do those. We do draw. And then I will snag a conduit if I can. Otherwise, I'm just going full in to the Frostbite. I do want to try for... I want to try for a Stitch in here. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get here first. Nice. Okay. Let me think. Guard... If I do guard, I'm looking at a three-floor setup. Not necessarily, but probably. Because Crucible and Alloy need to be in front. Guard would want to be a frontliner. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I can just feed Crucible and Alloy enough currently. Maybe by the end I can. Nameless would be if I stick one of the... I, I have Tethys, Nameless, Glacial Seal, and something else on the Mindjack's floor. That something else is either Crucible or Alloy. I think I would prefer Crucible, because I can just tank up the the stats there. I think also, given that Temperant is such a pain at remove, Like, t Nameless can can counter that, uh, that sap so well. We'll just probably want to get, like, our Plinks upgraded. And Mind Collapse, possibly on Holdover. Because we may not get AoE, so we'll need just we want to be able to answer those uh, those shade wings. I think Nameless Siren, and I will still grab Conduit if I can find it. I don't know that I would do handheld. I think I would hold out for Conduit if I can find it. Um, let's get the final stewards out. I think I still keep all my banners. Um, Alloy up top, just cleaning stuff up is fine. I don't really have to play any spells up there, which is nice. So middle floor will go to Tethys, Siren, Crucible. Top floor goes to Alloy. I like that. <laughs> Permafrost. Maybe Shroud, but I don't think so. Um, let's do this to a Plink or this. Let's do it to this for now. I think I want to try to get these down so they're a little bit more playable. I think I think I don't do permafrost. This I will do. That's pretty big. Um, I'll do this to a plank. Right now, none of my planks are upgraded, which is not great. And I'll still do this or this. I would actually like this on holdover, so let's do this. If I can, if I can get holdover, it actually instead of instead of mind collapse, I think it does just go on. On you know who, I'm gonna hold gold even though there's a boons here. I think I want to hit that magic pretty hard potentially, depending on what I get as rewards here. Now we're getting the uncommons and the and the you know rares, which for Stygian and Umbra generally require Ember upgrades and or damage upgrades. So let's keep the gold open for it. Multi strike here sucks because the whole mind jacks thing is right out the window of course we get the one troop that punishes mind jacks all that being said i don't know that i don't know we don't have a whole lot of higher health we don't have a whole lot of health on our frontliners this could be iffy be pretty fucking iffy, and I don't have good consistent ways to clear out the back line to eliminate haste. <laughs> this would have been a nice one to. I, I was even debating like permafrost on uh, mine collapse. Oh, we wouldn't have been able to afford all of it, I don't think. I think we can do this. Hopefully, that's not. Hopefully, that's correct. Pit fucked on the top. Worst case, that's the worst case it could be. Nine by two, one by two. I, I can, I can eliminate a lot of this damage. The only thing that sucks is I don't have a, uh, a thing here. 
Well, there's no sweeper, so let's give him some damage shield, even though I technically blow... No, nah, I blow both of them here, so let's give it to her. Yeah, I don't want to just blow it for no reason. And let's give this some space, I think. And then we kill that. Is this really worth it? I mean, I'm not going to redraw into anything this fight, most likely, so I might as well just take everything out here. Alright, Siren. I think I try to hit this. Hmm. If I put Siren here, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I have that luxury. Alright, you go in the front. I think I need to keep like extra let's do that let's see I could plink here but I don't want siren down I think I'm just gonna hope for some planks next turn and I'll give you some stuff there on a plank here Okay, that's pretty good. Um, so, we can do this. I'm gonna be doing that. Okay, we can do that. Everything there's dying. Let's give two damage shields here. And then I'll do that, and that, and that, I guess that. Okay, I can put this down, I think, though. Do I have that luxury? Because I may just need to do this. I may have to do Umber, uh, Ember for my other upgrade. Unfortunately, I don't know that I need Glacial Seal here. This probably is just better. And then we'll try for that plink. We got it. We'll try for the bottom floor kill, I think. Let's kill that one. We can do that. That. Do that, and that. I don't know why I was feeding so much up there. I mean, we were going for the bottom floor kill. Looks like we got it, though, so... Nice. I mean, two points, Tethys Frostbite will kill most boss if you can sustain like that. That's kind of the game plan there. This is probably worth it. A Titan's Tooth looks pretty good to me. That's flat OE that we're looking for. I think Ember is probably the way to go, and we can get that. That might be a holdover target. Let me think. Very well might be the holdover target, and then I just bring it down to two Ember. If I have an Ember upgrade, I still have two Ember left over to play on other stuff. If I have Conduit, all the more merrier. Gem Trove, I could put an Ember upgrade on now. That's... It's okay. I think Grovel is just better, though. I think Grovel is worth it. Let's take Grovel. As we saw that fight, we need damage shields even beyond the Chain of Gems, potentially. Uh, initial up The nice thing about these two units is they don't need upgrades, necessarily. Just initial health is what I would want. What are the Merchant of Steels looking like? I definitely hit this one. And then probably that one. So let's hit the magic here. Free removal should be good. Let's see what we're working with here. The spears are probably less needed than the, um, the other stuff. Let's give this to mine, I think. Even though I'd love it on a plank. I think right now mine collapse is the call. I guess I would do this. Then I don't have to put it on holdover. I like that, actually. We won't be able to afford much else. See, this is why I held the gold and took the trial. Even now, I can't even... I can't even re-roll with what I've bought. I think at any rate, we 
The Grovel down would be nice, but I think Titan's Tooth down for now is is always going to be something we want to do. So the removals will just go on lances, I think. Anything else better? Because the plinks, even the... I think the plinks are better than lances here, even if they're unupgraded. They have chances to kill, like, sycophants. Less chances to kill Mike marksmen, but it's there. I think uh, Heaven's Seal is fine here. Alloy should be able to clean up any f any of these tanks. Okay, that's the perfect one to get pip screwed on. Let's give you the... Uh, what boss was it? Fuck, was it... Shit, I totally forgot which boss it was. Well, I think at any rate we still do this. Um, let's do this. Feel you up as much as possible. Give you damage shield. Horrible turn to draw shroud mitosis. Yeah, this is shit. And we don't even get the glacial seal. Well, we'll do this. That is the plan there. At least we're killing everything. Space here for Incant, sure. Um, is that better? This prevents more damage, but I'm gonna prevent the damage anyway with this. Let's do this. Yeah, I think that ends up doing more damage. We'll chump block that, and then yeah, just. You'll have fuel left over. Let's just give a bunch of health here so I don't die to a bad draw and just have game over here. If it is stealth boss, which I, I think it is, I need as much health stacked here as possible. I'll need to also get that uh, glacial seal in here at some point. All I need here is one spear and that looks to kill him. So let's do that. Uh, let's try for this, nice try for that. That should help. I don't think I need to fuel him anymore. I think I'm taking out most of this stuff. I can allow this hit. That doesn't seem to be bad. Let's actually just do this then. Yeah, let's really just fuel him up as much as possible. Uh... Should kill this guy because I don't have any fuel up there. Oh, it's this guy. I'm good then. I've got. Yeah, I'll be a okay here. We should do this while we have it though. And another bad turn for morsels, but that is fine. Let's just do this and pretty much guarantee victory. All I need to do is stack a few frostbites here and then. Yeah, he's dead. Don't even need to do anything more. I take this. Those planks now don't need upgrades, technically. Ice Storm is pretty good AoE. That would make Titan's Tooth not as necessary. Feast would be potentially okay. The other two are not happening. Uh, what about Feast? I think Feast is potentially okay. Be a free incant. I don't have huge incant stuff right now because glacial seal is tough to get out i think i will take feast uh most likely need to take ember upgrade after this uh scourge fell fight scourges are going to be a little bit annoying too i think this is the route we go get rid of more lances the ice storm will get pretty good even without upgrades because of forgotten name. Um, what is my best card to Helven? This Titan's Grat? Maybe. Give me more chances at actually getting those off. I think, I think it is the Titan's Grat. Not super good Helven targets, but good enough. This is the perfect one for pip fucking, actually. Um, most likely, I need to let this hit me. 
so do I need do, how I can't really take them out so let's just set up here for now I believe we'll just put the damage shield on you or should it go here there's no like sweepers or anything it should probably go on nameless siren then I think Technically doesn't really matter. Let's do this, and I do need to get this down. Just get an incant here. Get the damage shield on you. They're all dying, so why don't I just try to snipe? Oh, they're all silenced. Nice. I was gonna say, why don't I just try to snipe them, but now it's like, don't, don't really need that. Could use some uh, morsels, I guess. And just prevent some damage shield hits, I guess. I don't know if I even need to feel this guy. Not yet, at least. There's several turns here of just easy minions. So I'll give her some rage, right? Let's go ahead and do this. Do this for the incant. Don't necessarily need the space. I okay, just do this. If it looks like these guys are getting through, then I'll feel alloy this next turn. Well, if I even can. I think I'm fine here, though. Yeah, I'm fine here, so I'm just gonna do this. And this. That should kill everything. That guy didn't get silenced, but whatever. Those penances are so annoying. Um, only doing two. I haven't played that many spells, it looks like. So, this might not be worth it, actually. I think here. Start with this, I guess. Eh, worked out there. I don't know that this... I think maybe I just need to fuel up there, then. this, I guess. I could get one extra damage, uh, magic damage if I play that, but I think I, I'm low enough on pyre health, and this guy might get through up here, and potentially another one. Hmm. Let me think here. Let's try for this. Take a hit here. Oh, two. I thought I had enough frostbite. Apparently not. I guess, yeah. Both of these are a bit annoying. I think this saves me more, though. Another horrible turn for that. Uh, you have three fuel. You can survive this. So why don't we just play one of these? Morsel Gen is actually pretty bad, it seems. Let's do this. Get extra stuff here. I could do this, I guess. And then... Just trying to stack this floor as much as possible for boss kill. Looks like we got it here. 
Let's do that. That's a lot of frostbite. Synergy looks pretty good to me. Especially since I'm taking Ember. Now I won't be able to upgrade it, so it'll be at three, which isn't great, but it's already doing forty it's already doing one twenty. Uh, if I get conduit, the more the merrier. But we'll do Ember here just in case. I'll still be glad to find conduit if I can. I think we go this route, try to get those merchant of steel upgrades. They'll help with initial survivability. Damn, no conduit. Well, could have had it at the very beginning, but you know what? Whatever. The question is, do I want to do held handheld then? I mean, it could really stack a lot of Frostbite onto Seraph if I think Seraph is going to be an issue, which, given that I have Crucible, I don't think Seraph will be an issue. I think the only way he's an issue is if I... If I can't... There's a 50-50 on hold over here for Merchant of Magic, or I could just Hellvent, like... Titan's Tooth. I don't know. It's a tough call. Um... I think handheld might actually be the better call here. I lose out on just some damage and double the frostbite, but that's only single target. I think that this gets me out of a few more binds. Yeah, let's do handheld. I think initial health, very good. Endless is not out of the question. If I do Endless, if for some reason I lose him... I'm actually fine with that. I've got a lot of money here. Because nothing else really is needed on him. He, just, he has the initial health. Endless just gets him out of some stuff. Uh, as far as she goes, I think maybe actually I'd rather have that. Quick here is very good. And I would take this since I really just want multi-strike in her at this point. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going this, uh, this Merchant of Steel. Maybe I just do this because, yeah, there's a Hellvent. Yeah, there's removals, but... I would really like to get some extra damage on, uh, or a holdover. I got 50-50 at holdover. I just don't think I have great health on targets. I'd like to get Ancient Synergy down, so I think I'm not going to that steal. Given that, I'll just give this to Siren. She's not going to be great here, but she's still providing some damage. Mark of Invasion, potentially a bitch. Penitent will be a good precursor to... T uh, nope, never mind. It's not, not a good precursor to <laughs> Temperant. What am I talking about? Uh, man, I don't know. I, I gave up a lot of the lan lances. are pretty good for this mark. And I only have one. These unupgraded planks won't be good. I mean, some of these will be good. I have a lot of health on Crucible. It just uh, If I draw like just Siren at the start, we could be in trouble. I think it's worth the risk, though. I have, I think, enough fire health here to survive. Um, the double tanks should hopefully not be an issue. Alright, let's... These will just get through, I think. Um, let's do this. That. Do I need this? I don't think so. Um, so they're all dying. I don't really actually have to feel them this turn, and, and he's not going to die to these, so why don't I just actually just kill one of these and then put you down. Now I'm not taking that much damage to my pyre, and I can hopefully stabilize here. Can I justify this? I think I do need to get you down. 
So 13, 20. I'm technically M dead next turn if I can't generate some sort of a chump block. Which is not out of the question. That does kill this Gilded Wing. I think I'd rather do this. I can at least get this upgraded this turn. Uh, we can chump block this. We really need a shard prism. It does actually suck that we got pip fucked there, but whatever. Um, can't kill that, unfortunately. Let's do this then. At least the sweep is actually nice here to kill these uh, purifiers. So you're actually dying. I didn't realize I was going to do that much damage. I guess that could have been an easy calculation for me to do, though. Uh, let's see. So your spell weakness to 1. This is going to be 44, 88. It actually does kill that. But would this be better served down here is the question. Because I would love to play this shroud here. I may just kind of need to do that. I also save a damage shield there. You know what? I'm going to do this. Guarantee the uh, shroud. Uh, I'm not tripping, right? It's 44 by 2. Yeah. So we can do this. Shroud it. Play that. Take that guy out and then do that. That's pretty good. And then... We have a feel to take that guy out. Um, not, not hitting on the silences on these purifiers, eh? Uh, let's see. Plus damage here would be quite welcome, too. I think we do need Grovel. Let's do that. Gotta keep him fueled at least once to take these guys out. So, I'm doing 110, he's got 115. Maybe this is best then. And, uh, I might as well do this for the free incant and the three here. I do lose, like, that damage shield, but whatever. It's a little bit redundant with lifesteal. Okay, this one does need some damage done. Or I think I'd rather play this like here maybe to try to stop these scourges. I only need to do this here to finish him. Let's do that. Got him. And we'll do this. Boom, we got the 50 50. I'm not field though this time, so. Oh, you just died of frostbite, though. Sick. Um, let's do this. How about that? And this. Let's do that. Alright, that worked out pretty nicely. We can do this. That finishes him. Uh... Nothing much else to do here. Oops. I did that wrong. Whatever. Should be dead because it's a living armor and he's horrible. Oh, and he got silenced on top of it. Just salt in the wound. He would have been dead anyway, though. Hmm. I don't know if I have the space to put stone in, especially if I'm pip screwed in the middle. If I'm not pip screwed in the middle, I still think I'd rather just stack life steal. I don't. I don't think guardian stone does much for me. What about unnamed home? Against this, it's just a free incant, but maybe that's good enough. It would stop the armor harvest a few times. I don't care about the shade wing ability, most likely. Um. I mean, is a free incant worth it is the question, then. Potentially, yes. We 
delay my draw to the other things. I don't know if it's... I mean, it could help Forgotten Name get off. I kind of need that to get off. I will take it, I think. Furnace Tap. I don't have a good way out of Amber Drain. If I find Holdover, I don't think... I think Ice Storm is still what I'd want. So, given all of that... Just another Grovel, I think. And I'm pretty sure we go this route. What do we got here? Nothing I like. Teth of Scales or Shade Lamp. Ugh. Um, just maybe, I don't know, maybe maybe this is worth permafrosting. I don't think I need Teth of Scales. Do this on one of these. I don't I, I, even shade lamp. I don't know if I need. I do need ancient synergy down though. It's way awkward at three, but at two it's pretty nice. I might even take it to one. I don't like eternal stone here. Um, what am I looking at for Tetha scales? I think Tetha scales. What about shade lamp? I have. I have two grovels, I have two pack morsels that are eternal, I have the plinks, I have this permafrosted. I don't think that I need shade lamp, but tetha scales I think I need. And then we'll just get these final, it'll be a perfect use of gold here. I'll do this to another plink, I think. Actually, these crit boulders are kind of crap, aren't they? Let's do it to a crit boulder then. At least it can do something. And maybe this at one is pretty good. I mean, I pretty much always want to play this. It's too bad we never once got a power stone other than the mine collapse. It was mostly surge stones. Because Ice Storm would have loved to have it. But you know what? If we play enough spells, I think we'll be fine. Alright, this could be an iffy one. Shade, the shade wings are the problem, but I have endless on my crucible. I think I'm going to be fine here. Did get uh, pit fucked at the bottom, which is absolutely actually the best one we can hope for. So let's get some uh, damage shield here. I guess we're just building out this middle floor kind of all the way from the get-go here. Let's get this first, I think. Um, let's get this waiting for the top floor, and I don't think I want to play that down there for breaking those uh, type of scales. Let's give you damage shield. Um, let's give space here. And let's prevent this damage. I think. Yeah, and get the incant, I guess. We're going to take a hit there, but whatever. I do think I can probably justify getting this guy down this turn. That guy's going to die. I only have one fuel, though, but it is what it is. Let's do this. Boom. I'm at least killing everything here. Plink. Man, I'm, I'm not getting off this forgotten name. Um, well, let's just stack some more stuff here. I mean, there's not much else to do here. actually prevented a lot of damage there by hitting that ice storm pretty luckily. Alright, I can take that out with uh, a few options here. Maybe mine collapse, who knows. Alright, um, let's, since we have the, the mitosis here, let's do this. Maybe this is actually better. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll do this here. Get you some fuel. And I'll do this, actually. And then I can kill that. Uh, we can do this. Why don't we do this, then? Here, I can take one of them out. And do that. 
Now I'm good with all that damage shield. I have a lot of buffer here to miss out on killing a few of them. Either way, let's see, we got one damage shield here left. Let's still put let's still put them here, why not? Um, let's do this. Just do this for a free incant. Now I think. Nah, maybe I should have done that later. Oh well. Let's do this. This. Let's give you fuel. I don't think I'll need it though, so let's just keep stacking here. I think at this point we just get ready for Seraph. It looks like we're taking out these waves just fine. I'd want to get this health permanent. Um, let's do... I'll blow a stack here, but whatever. Um, let's do this, that, that, feel ya for the hell of it. Stacking good frostbite here. That uh, dude in the back might be annoying. Let's start with this. Damn, I was really hoping I could kill that guy. Let's just do this then. I, I don't want to take this damage if I can help it. Oh, I guess we're taking damage. Whatever. Just get more life steal. I think I I played that last turn pretty bad, but I th I think it'll be fine. We can just delete that ancient synergy at its finest. Um, let's do this. Um, okay, we can do this, that, do that, and then that. Definitely there's no way Seraph's beating us here. Yeah, I was gonna say. Fucking zero fucking chance, bud. To be honest, I am surprised he's dying. Let's see if we can remedy that. Let's give him a bunch of life steal. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead, son. Alright. A few scary moments, but nothing too bad. Another run, a good example where I never found the multi-strike upgrade, but it was fine. Tech Alloy gets multi-strike naturally, but I don't count that since I think the usual complaint is that if you can't find multi-strike, you can't win, but... I think I don't agree with the sentiment, but I do agree that multi strike is overpowered as a merchant of steel upgrade. I think if I think if large stone is having a downside, it doesn't make much sense to me that multi strike doesn't like it. Either needs to like cost more, or like if it needs to do something to your unit, either make that it, like it has to do something. Because right now it's just usually just always the better upgrade that you can find. Anyway, though, uh, game ball for this one goes out to maybe Alloyed Construct. I don't know. Like, he was the first banner unit we took. He held the line for Tethys on one of them, I think, but mostly it was just cleaning up a ton of damage. Even solo, Daedalus. Um, I think I'm going to give it to Alloy here, even though he was kind of an unsung hero. I think he did the most work overall in this run, other than Tethys. I mean, Tethys just did Tethys things. You, you put her down and she does work. Maybe Chain of Gems actually gets the MVP here. Chain of Gems was pretty damn OP. Yeah, I'm going to give it to either Alloy. I, I think Alloy and Chain of Gems get to dual share this, this game ball. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.